We're here at West Rinton Primary School today with the Foundation of Light and some of the first team players. We'll find out a little bit more about what the Foundation are doing and how important it is for the first team to be involved in the local community. And we're going to get inside now because it's absolutely freezing. David, just tell us a little bit about what it is the Foundation do on a day-to-day -day basis and more specifically what it is you've been doing here today. Um, mainly our sort of core delivery sort of going into schools, similar to this one, um, on a daily basis. So sort of just delivering their PE really, sort of the national curriculum. Um, myself, I come in here um, every Tuesday, so I'm here for the full day every Tuesday, work through all the classes, sort of from the little ones right to the older ones, um, just basically doing their PE lessons with them, make sure they're getting sort of all the outcomes and stuff like that from the sessions. And obviously it's not quite as, as exciting as it's been today with the, the players every week, but um, having the players visiting like this, it's, it's fantastic for the for the kids and, and for the local community. Yeah, it's brilliant. I mean, uh, obviously they see me and they see the badge and things like that, but obviously I'm not a player, so obviously when they see the, the players coming in, it's sort of a, it is a big boost for them and like I say, they, they love it and it gives them something to look forward to at the end of the day. Hi Billy, so just tell us a little bit about what you've been doing here today. Um, obviously it's on, on behalf of um, Sunderland FC Foundation um, and the work they do within the community is just to come in and, and do an appearance and um, I believe that someone from behalf of the foundation does takes me here so we just joined in a, a handball session and then ended with a Q&A so just hope that the, the kids today enjoyed it. And it's important for the, the first team players to be to be part of the community, isn't it? And, and to get out and, and to visit everyone. Yeah, it, it's massive to be honest. Um, since I started playing within a, a first team um, squad, it, it's become more more so. You do a lot more of these, and it, it's great. I, I know if I was at primary school and a football player was coming in, it would, it would be an amazing um, to, to have that. So yeah, it, it's very nice to do. And like I say, I just hope that the community and the, the children here today have enjoyed their day. For, for you now, you, you're fully fit and, and raring to get back into the first team? Yeah, um, obviously I've had, I've had some, well, a stop start to, to my career at Sunderland so far and um, we, I've, I've seen specialists and I feel like we've got to, to the bottom of the problem and I don't think the occurrences will happen now um, within my hamstring trouble. So just looking forward to having a second part of the season like we all are, I feel uh, as a squad, as a team, we want to improve on our points tally, which we've picked up in the first half of the season. And it's in our hands, really, with the, with the home games we've got as well. We know if we're strong at home for the second half of the season, um, we should improve on what we've done already in the first half.